So I'm going to call this episode Photo News. I couldn't figure out what to name this, but it's basically a group of things that I want to share with you. And I figured, why not? That's as good a name as any. So this one's called Photo News. I'm going to be talking about a camera. Also about a book that I've been reading that has to do with my art. I also want to share with you a few YouTube channels, one that was the inspiration for this video, and then we're going to finish off with my podcast. It's old and it's new, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. But first, let's talk about a camera. So this camera is the Nikon FE2. And on it, I have a 50 millimeter F 1.8 uh, Nikkor lens. I bought this back in 1984, and I'd like you to listen to something. For me, that is the sound of magic. It takes me back to 1984 uh, and all the photo shoots that I've done with that camera. Uh, that sound is music to me and I will never get rid of this camera. Uh, it will go with me to the grave or to my kids probably. Uh, it is fun to shoot with and I'm actually thinking about picking up a lens or two for it and including it in this channel. Um, along with the Leica M6 and the Q2 and whatever else I decide to shoot with. So this camera is really special to me and I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know if you've ever picked something up and had it just feel right. And it's solid, it's mechanical, it's heavy uh, compared to other you know, mirrorless cameras or more modern cameras. Uh, there's not a lot of plastic in it. Uh, it's got a titanium shutter. Um, it is fun to shoot with. If you're looking for a film camera, I recommend it. Uh, it is available. I believe today there was one on KEH for around $300. Uh, it is definitely worth it. Uh, hell, if it lasted from 1984 until now and it's still making images, it's got to be worth that kind of money and then some. Um, so yeah, Nikon FE2, uh, 50 millimeter f1.8. Uh, I know that Voigtlander makes some pretty amazing glass for it as well. Uh, they have a 40 millimeter and a 58 millimeter, and there are some other lenses in that Voigtlander line. Uh, I'm looking at potentially the 40 millimeter, but I digress. So next, I want to talk to you about a book that I'm reading, and it is by Rick Rubin. I've got some notes here, so I want to make sure I get the wording right. So Rick Rubin, The Creative Act, A Way of Being. I've been reading this book over the last uh, few days, and I had listened to some interviews by Rick Rubin, and one of the things that he discussed was doing things like this as if you are writing in a diary and that it's for nobody else but yourself and not worrying about what everybody else thinks about what you're doing and just going for it. And there's a lot more to it in this book. Uh, and I've really enjoyed kind of the philosophy uh, around making art uh, and the way that Rick Rubin uh, talks about it and expresses it through this book is just amazing and it is definitely worth the read. So yeah, check that book out if you have a chance. Next, let's talk about a few channels. So the first channel is going to be Topher Williams. So Topher Williams made a video that I saw today that was about accountability and I was actually feeling pretty bad about not doing a video this week. Uh, I'm late with this one. It's a few days late. I'm trying to do one once a week and I've been good for about a month, month and a half now uh, and I want to keep it going. So that is the inspiration for this video. I wanted to go ahead and make it happen. I wanted to make something happen. So I am just recording this uh, and I just need to put it out there and not worry so much. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the ideal video. I don't have to have, to have I don't have to have a ton of B-roll. Uh, I don't have to do a crazy amount of editing in order to put content out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. put content out there uh, in order for you to enjoy it. It doesn't have to be perfect is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, spit it out. So yeah, Topher Williams, definitely worth a watch. Uh, he's got some pretty interesting content, uh, but I'll leave you to check that out. Next is another channel, and this one's called 
uh, Jamie and the Jam. So Jamie and the Jam, a photographer out of, I believe, London, uh, did a photo walk with a buddy. Uh, and just the way he approached people and got some street portraits uh, in this video. I'm going to link all these in the show notes, by the way. And you'll be able to see, I'm going to put images up here so you can see these channels. But the way he wandered the streets and connected with different people and made some really cool street portraits uh, it was really neat to watch and a lot of fun and just a really natural video it seemed like it pro progressed naturally and and was a lot of fun to watch so give it a watch uh, there's a lot of other content on that channel uh, he's got i think around five or six thousand subscribers uh, so you know not a huge channel but not a small channel uh, Let's see, Topher, Topher's around the 600 mark. So hey, he's actually closer to my sub count. Um, but you know, the sub count I'm learning doesn't really reflect the quality of the videos that exist on a channel. Uh, there are a lot of channels with really low sub counts that are worth way more uh, than they're pulling in subs. So just want to give a shout out to uh, those two channels. And then the last one is actually a really big channel, Sam Newton. Sam Newton put out a video uh, that he put his heart and soul into. And uh, there was actually a point where I was almost brought to tears. And I'm going to let you watch the video and experience it for yourself. But I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I've been watching Sam uh, for years. Uh, the first video I saw was the one that he did about Peter McKinnon. Uh, and then I've been watching his stuff ever since. Uh, just an amazing creative. He's put in a lot of years of work. And it is exciting to see uh, where he has been and where he has arrived. Uh, and he's young and he's got a lot of years ahead of him. And I'm curious to see where he takes his channel or beyond um, just an exciting story and someone I wanted to highlight so last I want to talk about my podcast so the hot shoe the hot shoe is a podcast that I did for about a year year and a half uh, where I created some uh, content around that and what I want to do is I want to incorporate it incorporate it into all of this. So for me, it's going to be kind of a triad. It's going to be my website, and that's weinbergimages.com. Uh, then the podcast, and the podcast is going to be just like this, where I'm going to be talking about different things around photography uh, and photo news, uh, information, my thought process, uh, maybe rambling at times. It just is going to be, I don't know, calling it kind of therapy, you know, photography therapy. Uh, sometimes I struggle with focus and focusing on specifics and my mind kind of goes everywhere when it comes to photography and it's hard to hunker down with one specific topic but it'll be neat to have the podcast uh, to go ahead and just root out you know what it is that I'm interested in doing with my photography and it is a conversation and a discussion and something that's going on in my mind all the time as to where I want to go with my photography what do I want it to be uh, what do I want to make of all of this and struggling with the artist inside of me and making sure that I'm being honest uh, with you with myself uh, with what I'm doing and just making art and I know that sounds strange from someone that has been making images since 1984 seriously uh, and before that as a kid and you know, not really knowing what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I'm interested in, uh, where I'm going to take it. I have a lot of experience with cameras. I have a lot of experience in photo labs, uh, doing professional photo shoots and trying to figure out what content is going to make me happy but also bring people to the table that want to have a discussion around photography and share the passion that I have for this art form. So the podcast is going to be about that. And yeah, if you can't see my passion, then, you know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I am excited about all of this. I'm having fun with all of this, as I've said in other videos. Uh, I'm going to keep doing it till the day I die, whether I have subs or not. Uh, and that's something that the book by Rick Rubin is teaching me, that it doesn't matter. Create art for the sake of creating art. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks and just do it. Just get out and shoot. 
Just love what you do and make it happen. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So that wraps up this video. I'm curious what your thoughts are on all of this. Uh, but my name is John Weinberg. Uh, and yeah, till next time, take care.